All right, guys, so we just finished case two, and we're going to go to case three. So first thing we're going to do, back to dashboard, change the company name. I don't even know if this is something you need to do every time, especially if you're going to go back through and do them all at the same time, work on all your assignments at the same time. But I've made it a habit, so I'm going to stick to it. Case three. Student name and save. All right, so we got the company name updated. We're going to click done. And we're on case three. Hopefully, it goes as fast as case one and two. So, it wants us to open up and review the previously customized report name and trial balance 131 of 20. So, reports. Trial balance for case three, and it says an inventory of supplies reveals that only $200 of supplies remain as of 131, 2020. So we're going to go to supplies of asset case three, and we need to write off $127 to keep $200 in there. So $127 for supplies. So we're going to go to create journal entry, journal entry, $127, if I can remember that number. The date here is going to be 131 of 20 and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write supplies expense 127 and supplies asset case 3 we got the date we got the two amounts we got the supplies and supply assets and save and new B says, $1,500 of prepaid expenses expired representing prepaid insurance in the month of January. So we have insurance expense, down to expenses, interest, insurance is on here, insurance, general insurance, $1,500, prepaid, in, uh, prepaid expense is the next one, $1,500. The date's correct. Save and new. C says a bill for $350 was received and recorded in the month from Fix It for repairs performed in the current month. Create a new liability account like you did in the chapter. So for this bill, we're going to have, we're going to call it, um, A bill for 350 recorded next month from Fix It for repairs. So we're going to do repairs for expense. Go down to expenses. We're going to look for repairs. Repair and maintenance. $350. We're going to go to um, accrued liability. Accrued liability. Crude liability, $350. The date's right. Save and new. The next one, Film Consulting Services recorded invoice number for $210 to Diamond Girl were never performed even though they were invoiced. Thus, they had been unearned. So, unearned revenue. So, if we're going to do unearned revenue, we need to do service first, right? Yep. So, we're going to go to services. Now, services in case three were not services. I believe they were sales. Yes, that's what they were. Income accounts. So in case one and two, sales was sales, service was service. In case three, sales of product income was sales of a product and service was sales. So for case three, I'm going to use this sales account not the service account because case three had to be different so we'll click sales and it's going to be 210 dollars and i'm going to go to unearned income is what i called it you could also call it unearned revenue unearned unearned un Unearned income, 
for $210. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And once we get that done, we're going to click Save and New. Phone consulting services for $1,800 were performed only on the last day of the month for a new customer. Graham Engineering but not invoiced to the customer or recorded into the accounting records until a few days into the month. Create a new asset account like you did in the chapter. So the new asset account is going to be uh, accrued revenue, receivable, sorry, and that's going to be for $1,800. And then this is going to be a service. So we're going to go down to our income accounts. And we're going to select service is sales again, remember, because sales of a product is sales of a product. This sales is a service for case three. $1,800. We're good to save a new. Depreciation expense of $1,200 for the buildings and machinery, respectively. So again, we got the right date. This first one is depreciation expense. Right down at the bottom, depreciation expense, $1,200. This one is going to be case three. Machinery and equipment is at first. Nope. Building is first. Case three investments. That's not what it said. We need a building for case three. Machinery and equipment. Nope. For building. This building right here, this is case three. This depreciation is what we're going to select. And it's not the $1,200, it's the $850. And then the machinery and equipment for case three. Machinery and equipment for case three says it. Oh, I selected that wrong account. Don't do that. You want to select this accumulated depreciation for case three which is a sub account for $350. So now we're at $1,200 for both sides. We have the depreciation expense up here. We have the building depreciation, which is accumulated depreciation, and we have the machinery equipment accumulated depreciation for case three. Case three, accumulated depreciation. Should we have it a good, uh, just click save. And that's it. We need to open up our reports and get things taken off. Now, something that I'm going to do just to be consistent is I'm going to go to my chart of accounts, accounting, chart of accounts. I'm going to go down to case three. This is already called accumulated depreciation. This case two needs to be called accumulated depreciation. I probably did that wrong on the last video. I probably clicked on case three accumulated depreciation. So CCUM, ULATD, accumulated depreciation, save and close. Building up here. This building needs to say accumulated depreciation. A C C U M U L A T D. All right. So now we're good to go to our reports and start printing off. Case three trial balance. Export to PDF. Save as PDF. Good to go. Close that. Transaction detail by account for case three. Exports PDF, save as PDF, and here we go. So this is the transaction detail by account, page one of four. Remember to pause this if you need to take a deeper look, which you should, to make sure your numbers and balances are right. The only way you'd have a different balance than I do in any of these accounts is if you use a selected a different account. Like you might use three different accounts instead of the one account that I used, or you might have used one and I used three. Um, here's the last page. This depreciation expense, you're only going to have one of these. You're only going to have one of those. 
Um, and for this time frame, you only had one transaction for $1,200. So that's the transaction detail by account. The next thing we're looking at is the trial balance. Here's the first page. And remember, if you get this trial balance spot on, you have a 90% chance, 95% chance that your transaction detail by account is spot on. The only time it wouldn't be spot on is if you have a wrong date in there somewhere. All right, guys, that's it for chapter nine. Any questions or if I did anything wrong, um, shoot me an email. Have a good one.